Babe. What's the room? I've waxed. Hmm? I have waxed. <laughs> We all know why he's excited. Let me, let me show you guys how I did it in this quarantine. So I checked the ingredients online for the wax. It was pretty straightforward. Lemon juice, sugar, and water. Put them all together into a saucepan. And I didn't put all the water in because it was too much. And then I just started mixing. And the lady in the video that I watched said, said within five to seven minutes, it would change color, get a little bit darker. And I was mixing, it just wasn't happening. By the time I tipped it into my jar, it was still pretty liquidy. But I thought, mm, maybe that's how it's supposed to be. And I went ahead, put some talcum powder on my armpit. I didn't have a popsicle, so I used a makeshift popsicle to spread it. I didn't have any wax strips, so I used my Ankara. <laughs> the ghetto. Ooh, child, the ghetto. Anyway, it didn't work. I don't know what I was thinking. This wasn't the wax I wanted to make, but I thought, oh, I could make two. I tried, just was a flop. So then I tried again and found that I just needed to basically cook the sugar for longer. And I got it. And it was nice and thick. You can see here, nice and thick. It seemed to work. Oof. Yep. Got a little bit of hair there. This seemed to be okay. It seemed to be, I thought I'd gotten it. You know, I used the same ingredients. I just literally went back and did it again and it was it seemed perfect so I thought the only struggle I seemed to have was just trying to really get it on my armpits it was a little bit hard but yeah I just was trying to spread it and the hair was coming off barely barely but it was stinging so I just thought maybe I need a little bit more water so what I did was I just put some water on my hands and I began to stretch the wax again. And I was just, you know, basically trying to manipulate it to the best of my ability. And it seemed to work. It seemed to do the trick. And I spread it on my armpits again. It seemed to do the trick. Ouch. Oh, yeah. That was a real pain. You can see the roots. It was real. Um, and it got a bit messy. Sticking to my top and everything. Yucky. But yeah, it seemed to work. I thought, okay, I've got this. I've got this. Ouch. Again. Ah, yeah. It was painful. It was as painful as my mouth showed. And it worked. Look. Look at that. But then I think maybe the water was too much or my hand got too hot. Basically, the wax melted. It was a mess. This is take three, but with brown sugar. I was all out of white sugar by this time and I just needed to get it done same set of ingredients but just different sugar i mixed them all in came to a bubble it was bubbling nicely thanks to a between e for the video on waxing with brown sugar i didn't even know you could wax with brown sugar so super happy about that but what i realized that i needed to do was to check the consistency and i used a bowl to just kind of check it as i was going along and i kept cooking and cooking guys i was cooking this for about an hour a full hour so the problem with brown sugar is you can't really tell when it's cooked. But with white sugar, the indication that it's cooked is when it changes colour. And within 20 minutes, it pretty much changed colour when I tried it. But not with this brown sugar. <laughs> you don't want to burn it, and but yet you need to get it thick. 
So I managed to get it thick and I was very happy. But I poured it into a plastic bowl. That, was, that wasn't good. That was a fail because it was stuck all to the plastic. Next time I'd probably use a ceramic or glass bowl. But I was still happy because I got it. Got my wax, as you can see, nice and brown. Perfect consistency. It was sticking and wonderful. The only thing that I seemed to forget was to put some talcum powder on. When I realised, I eventually did. Talcum powder absorbs the excess moisture, which enables the wax to stick properly and really get the hairs from the roots. And there we go. Fresh armpits. Hey, hey, hey. Then I did it on my legs as well, because my legs were heavy as heck. You may not be able to see as well, but trust me, they were. The only issue I had with this was like, it kind of stuck to me, like just kept sticking to me. But otherwise, it really gets all the hairs, literally from the follicles, it gets the hair right out. And I just spread them on my legs and got all my hair off. And that was it. I have to say, I don't think I need to go back to the spa to wax anymore. I'll do it myself. And you can too. Look at my smooth legs. Hey, hey, hey. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. See you in my next video. Bye.